Okay, what we're going to go through here uh, are some of the basic edits that you're going to want to make while you're uh, creating a movie using Final Cut. And I'll also review the different parts of the screen. Um, so this part at the top left is called the browser. It's where you have your different clips placed. Also later on, uh, you'll probably want to put some effects in, but we'll ignore that for just the moment. Uh, the middle screen here is where you're going to be uh, viewing individual clips. So uh, I'll show you that. I'll open up uh, an individual clip from here. I'll take this uh, one from the uh, boardwalk in 1904, uh, so it's just sort of a busy street. And uh, this is one individual clip that we can play and uh, make some changes to. Um, this one on the bottom is the timeline, which we're going to see uh, use of a little bit in this video. And uh, this one at the top right shows your movie that you're editing from your timeline. So it's a lot of different screens, but uh, it doesn't take long before uh, you can wrap your head around how they work. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the basic edits that we're going to uh, use to put our movies together. So I've got two parts from this uh, boardwalk video here, uh, two different angles. So what I have to do is I am going to uh, take part of this one and insert it into my movie. Uh, so how that's going to work is right here, this is where I want it to start, I'm going to need to mark an endpoint. That says don't include anything that's before this endpoint, only from hereafter, and this little arrow kind of helps you uh, visualize that. Then I'm going to move the playhead forward a little bit and I'm going to uh, put an out point saying don't include anything after this. So only this white area in between is what's going to end up in my movie. Uh, so there's a couple different ways to edit this. Uh, what I like is to drag them into the canvas window. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this to the right and I'm going to drop it onto one of these boxes in the canvas window. So the basic edit uh, is probably the insert. So I'm going to drop it on the yellow insert. And you can see down here on my timeline, it has the clip from boardwalk, only the part between the in and out point that I wanted. And up here we see the uh, finished product. So I'll show you a few more edits that we can make. Um, and it's very important uh, that it knows where this line, which is called the playhead, uh, is, and that's where it's going to drop your clips. So I'm going to find another part of this that I want to insert. Uh, so I'm going to find this one. Uh, so I'm going to click on the in, move ahead a little bit, click on the out. Uh, also, you're going to be making in and out points a lot, so it's good to know that on the keyboard, I and O will help you do those. So, and then I'm going to drag this over, and it will insert it wherever the playhead is. So you can see that it dropped that second clip next to the first one so that they would play one after the other. Um, so one other thing that you can do with that, uh, and I'm going to find something uh, completely unassociated with this is uh, this clip from a theater. Um, so we've got people exiting a theater that I'm going to include into my video here. So I'm using the keyboard shortcut I and O for this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the playhead uh, and I'm going to show you two different edit types. Uh, I'm going to put the playhead here. So whenever I put something on to my canvas, it's going to drop it right here, but in two different ways that I'm going to show you. So first I'll click and drag it over. And I'm going to put it on insert, but uh, notice that on the insert it has a sideways arrow. That means it's going to push things over. So if we drop it here and look at what happens on my timeline, uh, the boardwalk clip starts, the theater clip inserts itself and then pushes over everything that was not on the uh, playhead. So I'm going to undo that, edit undo, uh, and I'll show you the other style. If I've decided instead that I don't want this part after here, I would rather see this, so I'm changing it rather than pushing it over. I can drag this over, drop it on overwrite, 
And you see what it'll do is it will knock out all the clips that I had there and just dump this one on top of it. That's super useful uh, when you want to kind of insert something in between, uh, you know, different parts, but not change the length of your video. So I'm going to undo that again. Okay. And then let's take a look at the other uh, edit types that we can do here. Uh, what I've got here is a replace. So I'm going to, uh, so we've got the first boardwalk clip here and then the second one. Uh, what I'm going to do is a, a bit of a replace. So I'm going to uh, go to replace and you can see that it replaces the clip that I'm on, which used to be a part of the boardwalk, with this theater clip. Uh, and I'm going to undo that. The other one that we've got is a fit to fill which is very much like a replace, except uh, that it will make the video clip faster or slower uh, so that it fits the same amount of time. Uh, so you can see if, uh, well, I'll just put it here and you'll, you'll see. So what it did, uh, it put it down here, uh, but there's this little thing that says 220%. So in order to fit this amount of time, the clip had to more than double its speed. Uh, so the people will be walking very quickly here. Undo. Uh, and then the other type here, uh, which is very useful uh, for uh, different kinds of sort of two camera editing and a few other things uh, that you'll probably get into later. Move it over and I'm going to go to superimpose. And what it does is it makes a second layer. Theater is above boardwalk here. And you see we cannot see the boardwalk at all. Uh, but later on you'll probably use techniques like this. I'm going to make a couple cuts into the theater and then delete the part in the middle here uh, so that we will get the theater and then the boardwalk clip plays in between them and then it returns to the theater clip. Now the one other thing that you're going to want to do here is probably uh, view this. Uh, so I'm going to move this to the beginning and if I hit the play button in the canvas it says unrendered and you can see there's this red line showing you uh, that you've got that. So what that means is that you've told it what to do but it can't really give you a real-time preview yet. Uh, so what you're going to do is make sure that the timeline is selected. It does matter very much which window you have uh, that's active right now. So I'm going to go to sequence we're going to render all, and in this case there's only video, I don't have any audio clips, so I'm going to go to video. And this will take uh, a long time if you have a long video. Uh, it, it's basically for video clips that aren't uh, created using the same uh, video style or codec uh, as Final Cut has. So if I, if I press play here, uh, we get the boardwalk clip and then we'll get the theater uh, intercut with a little bit of that boardwalk and then it switches back. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to do is probably uh, put some audio on here. So if I go into the audio, double click on the uh, audio clip, um, which you won't be able to hear in this recording, but just to show you. Now there's nothing visibly here to click on, um, but I'll move the playhead back to the beginning and the handle is this little play button here. I'm going to drag that over and I'm going to do an overwrite. Almost always with audio clips you're going to do an overwrite and you can see that it puts the audio clips on the audio tracks down here. I'm going to undo that and then I'll show you what an insert does. An insert is bad for audio because usually you want to put audio over clips but if I go to insert it pushes everything over which is not what you want to have happen. So uh, I'm going to Go here, do an overwrite, and this is an MP3 file, so I do need to do some rendering. Uh, click on the timeline. Command R is what you want to click on to do the rendering. Do that, and it does it very quickly. So that is a, a basic uh, use of uh, editing using the canvas to drop your clips.